Hello and welcome to DTW GED Prep Welcome. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the point slope form of a line. All right, I have done, I've introduced the slope intercept form. Okay, and we're going to be doing something. I'm going to be showing you, you know, uh, you can use the slope intercept form or point slope form to find the equation of the line. So it depends on you. Okay, so these same questions that I've solved, they have also used them in the slope intercept form. And you will see that we are going to also use this point slope form and still get the same answers. So you would, you would, uh, you would now pick which formula do you, you prefer best, you know. Uh, you know, for the slope intercept form, we had to find our B, we had to find our M, you know, and all that, you know, with all the old uh, processes. But now I'm going to use the point slope form and you see, which is easy for me. I prefer this because it's actually straightforward. And um, if you really know your algebra well and how to manipulate with your signs, okay, the only disadvantage with this formula is the signs. Okay, if you're not good with your signs, you can miss, you can miss out. Okay, you can miss the question. Okay, so I would advise you use the slope intercept form because it's quite straightforward. But this, you should be able to manipulate your signs well so you get the correct answers. All right, so let me quickly go through this. All right, and uh, before we go further, please do check our website, dtwgedprep.com. I have arranged all, um, you know, resources for algebra, okay, in a free GED course, which you can get on the website, okay, DT wgedprep.com okay you will just see free courses go there and you know um, go through the courses they are free you just need to register all right then um you'll get your your summary notes your study guides free practice questions the ged formula sheets they are also on the site free of charge all right and you can join our facebook group you can join our telegram group our reddit group okay to enjoy other further resources i'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video okay and if you want one-on-one -on -one tutorial you can contact me also all details in the video description box of this video now let's go to this so uh understanding this formula by the way you don't need to cram this formula it's going to be in your gd sheet okay if you're using the physics doing fiscal center okay you'll be given a paper with the formulas if you're doing the, the test online, there'll be a button where you click formula and you will see this. So you don't need to cram them. You don't need to bother yourself about, you know, panic on how to save this in your memory. Nah, you don't need to. Okay, so follow these steps now to find the equation of the line in its point slope form. Use the point that you are given, the one point you're given, put in the point values into the point slope equation, then put the value of your slope here and you solve. Now, look at this question. It says, find the equation of the line with a slope of half that contains the point 2 and 6. So this is our point, x1, y1, okay? And this is our slope, m. All right, so we're going we're to put it here. So we leave y, okay? Then our y1 is, that's minus 6, equal to m in parentheses, our x minus x1 is 2. So from here, I will take, uh, sorry, our M is half, right? We know our M as half, okay? So what do we do? We have Y minus six. Let's open up, quickly open up this parenthesis. This is gonna give us half X, then this times, half times uh, negative two, will give us a negative one, okay? That's half times a negative two. This will cancel and we're left with a negative one. I will take this negative six to this side. We now have y is equal to half x negative one. Taking a negative six here becomes a positive six. So we have y is equal to half x negative one positive six will give us what? A positive five. Do you see that? So this is our final answer. I'm sure you 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 prefer this you prefer this right, <laughs> okay. If you had watched this this slope intercept form, you see this is quite straightforward. But you have to be careful when opening up your parentheses, okay. So this is the same answer we got also in the slope intercept form, okay. When we use the slope intercept formula, your your final equation should be like this: y should stand alone here, and a positive y should stand alone here. All right, it should be as this y equal to mx plus b. 
Okay, now, number two says, find the equation of the line that passes through points this and this. All right, so we're not given the slope here. So it means we first of all have to find the slope before we can now find the equation of the line. How do we find the slope? Here, this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. Remember, our formula for slope m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, are you with me? So from here, uh, what is y2? y2 is 5 from our point. Our uh, y1 minus, our uh, y1 is 1 over what is our x2? x2 is minus 1 minus our uh, x1 is minus 2. So from here, 5 minus 1, that will give us a 4 over, sorry, I'm writing here, negative times negative is a positive. So we have a negative 1, positive 2. Uh, when we do, we subtract, we have a 1, and it's going to be a positive 1. So we have 4 over a positive 1, which is equal to 4. So our m is 4. So we put it into our formula here. Let me clear this. So m as 4, all right, into our formula, let's pick a x1, y1. Let's, this is x1, y1. So our formula is y minus y1 equal to m in parentheses, x minus x1, close the parentheses. So we have y minus, our uh, y1 is 1, equal to our m, we've gotten our m as 4, close the parentheses, x, then minus, what is our x1? x1 is negative 2, negative 2, close parentheses. So we have y minus 1 equal to 4. So this times this gives us positive, so that's x plus 2. Let's open up this parenthesis. We have y minus 1 equal to 4x plus 4 times 2, that's 8. Then we take this negative to this side. We have y is equal to 4x plus 8. Taking negative to the side becomes a positive 1. So finally, we have y is equal to 4x. 8 plus 1 is what? 9. So you can see this is our final equation of the line. Okay? So that's our answer for number two, exactly what we got in question uh, two for using the slope intercept form. All right. So here, we shall quickly, let me clear this. Okay. For these two questions, you still use the slope intercept form. Okay. To, to solve it. So we don't need, we don't need to do this. Okay. Sorry. I was supposed to take this out, but using the graph, all right, we can use the slope in that uh, point slope form to solve this. Okay, for this, I have solved this in the slope. We use the slope intercept form to solve these two questions. For the graph, you can also use your point slope form. So let us do it. So the first thing is, all we need to do is just get two points on the graph. All right, I would pick this point. All right, this point is what? X at zero, Y at seven. I will pick another easy point for myself, okay? And this point is what? X at 2 and Y at 1. And here, I'll make this X1, Y1. I'll make this X2, Y2. I will first of all get my slope, M, okay? So let us get our slope, M, all right? And you see, um, when you solve it for, when you're using the graph form, Okay, I would prefer that you use your slope intercept formula to solve it the way I have explained it. Okay, so uh, for this, it's a bit harder when you're using the point slope form. All right, so I would advise uh, you don't use this so you don't waste too much time. All right, because here you can see if we are using the point slope form, which is y equal to mx plus b, we have already gotten our value for B, which is 7, right? Our y-intercept. Then what we just need to do is find our slope. But for the point slope form, we have to first find, we'll find our slope. Then we now have to go in again and start solving to make the equation to become this, just the way we did for this. So it doesn't make sense to use the point slope form here, but I'm still going to teach you how to do it here, okay? So let's find our m, which is our slope. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
So what's our y2? That's 1 minus our y1 is 7 over our x2 is 2 minus our x1 is what? 0. So that's my 1 minus 7. That's negative 6. 2 minus 0, that's 2. And this will give us negative 3. So m is a negative 3. So we know m as negative 3. So our x1, y1, x1, we're using this. So let's go here. So we have y minus y1 equal to m over uh, in parentheses x minus x1. So we have y minus our y1 is 7 equal to our m is negative 3. Our x will remain the same minus our x1 is 0. So we have y minus 7 equal to negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 3 times 0 is a 0. So we just leave this. All we need to do now is take this negative 7 to this side. We be it becomes y is equal to negative 3x. And taking it, it becomes a positive 7. So we have this as our final answer. Do you see that? So this is how you can use the point slope form to find the equation of the line. Okay. So I will stop here. I won't do work on this. All right. But that's this how you use it. So don't be scared of anything, finding the equation on the line, the slope intercept form or the point slope form. You can use them interchangeably. Okay, so it depends on which you are comfortable with. All right, so I hope with all these questions you, uh, you know, you'll be able to get through with any questions you find on the GED test. And I'll be leaving in the video course, there'll be work, worksheets for you to use to practice more. All right, so thank you. And um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. You can check our website, as I said from the beginning, dtwgedprep.com. Okay, to join the course and follow through, watch the videos and take the practice um, worksheets. And um, you can join our fellow, uh, several groups, Facebook group, Telegram group to be instantly connected. Okay, and Reddit group, all right, you know, for resources to help you out in your GED tests, be it your science, maths, social studies. And uh, finally, finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life, he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last, and also give us that peace that we require here on earth, all right? He can give us that heaven on earth. So please, let's give everything to Jesus, all right? And he will give us rest. He will give us, you know, beauty for every ashes we have, you know, passed through in our lives. He's going to cleanse everything make us a new creature. All right. Thank you and see you in our next video.